Hi there, I'm making this video uh, for those people who might be interested in starting to learn to play <coughs> this instrument, which is a melodeon. Um, I myself started about a couple of months ago, and although obviously I'm no expert, I did a lot of research on the internet, and I just thought I'd pass this on to people who might be sort of wondering about this instrument, um, and all the things that I've learned, I thought I would uh, actually pass on to you. So in this video, this isn't a, a tutorial of how to play the thing, um, that might come a bit later, but I'm going to hopefully uh, tell you all about this instrument, uh, show you around it, what it, what it does and how it works, and I'm going to give you some advice about buying one of these, uh, what type to get, and what to look for when you are buying it. So what is a melodeon? Well, it's obviously a box. In fact, it's called a box. All melodeon players call these things a box. And uh, basically, it is just that it's a box with some buttons. This side, this side, it's got some bellows which are held in top and bottom by these straps, and you need to release the straps to open up the bellows. Um, to help you open the bellows, there's a button on the side here, which is, if I just push it down, I hope you can see that, see? push it down, and it really makes it easy to open and close the bellows. Uh, because it lets air into the bellows, so there'll be an opening and closing. Uh, in fact, you should never uh, try and open and close the bellows unless you're using the air button or you're uh, playing the buttons. So inside, uh, we've got blocks of reeds, which sound uh, when you press the buttons, and uh, you've got a set of reeds for the treble side, this side, and a set of reeds for the bass side. And the, obviously the treble uh, reeds sit inside here and the sound comes out here. Think of it as a speaker, although it's pretty obviously not a speaker. And the bass comes out of this side where my hand is just underneath uh, the strap. You can probably see some holes and that's where the bass sound comes out of. So it's a bit like stereo really, isn't it? Um, a completely acoustic instrument. There are electronic versions of this instrument made by Roland and Streb, but uh, essentially uh, you probably want to start off with uh, an acoustic instrument. Uh, electric instruments tend to be a bit, um, well, just that, a bit synthetic because they are synthesized versions. Can't really beat good old fashioned proper instrument. Uh, and I know from experience, having spent years and years using synthesizers and samplers, Go with the real thing, buy a real instrument, it's great. You can pick it up, play it anywhere, don't have to plug it in, worry about electric or anything. So as I say, inside the melodeon there are blocks of reeds. Uh, essentially each block of reeds is like a harmonica. You can actually uh, take the reed block out and blow into it just like a harmonica. Um, and the way it works is when you press a button, air flows uh, through the melodeon as you push the bellows and uh, the little tongue, metal tongue vibrates and the sound is made and uh, that's basically it, uh, the, the, the reeds are the voices of your melodeon. The melodeon was uh, developed from the harmonica in the early part of the 19th century in a part of uh, Europe called uh, Bohemia and Saxony as well so, so you know it's, it's been developed over the years and had lots of changes and there are loads and loads of different types of uh, melodians. Um, uh, some people call them button accordions as well. And as I say, there are, it's a bit of a minefield because there's so many different types. So um, you've obviously got to have some straps. Lots of melodians when you buy them don't come with straps. And I bought myself a fairly decent pair of shoulder straps. Uh, these were about £20, so it's not that cheap and this base strap, uh, notice my hand is kind of trapped behind this, you want a decent one of those because your hand, because your hand is so trapped you want to be comfortable. This is adjusted by Velcro. Uh, some have uh, like a dial called a rotella which you can adjust the, um, the tension of the strap on. Uh, but do get decent straps both on the base side and on your shoulders. Lots of Melodian players use just one strap uh, on their right shoulder and that's fine and I, I have seen people who can play melodeon without any straps at all 
and uh, I really wouldn't recommend that, although it is possible. Also, uh, on lots of melodians, there's a thumb strap here. On both of my melodians, I had that thumb strap removed because I found it uh, really got in the way. Although I think some players do use it, but I haven't seen that many. So if you've got a thumb strap on yours, uh, then I would recommend probably getting it removed because it does get in the way quite a lot.